One of my favorite aspects of being involved in Maricopa County Workforce is that we have this collaboration that in the end helps our community better because we're working together to provide more support to those who need it. I, I went to Maricopa Workforce Connection and I told them what my vision was. And my vision was to help people that had felonies and to get them on the right track, to help them with employment, to help them with an education. Our community is uh is in the South Phoenix area. Our community is traditionally a, a generational poverty and so they've been dealing with this for, for many decades. By the time most of the people get here, they have been beat up. Uh, they think there is no hope. I guess that's kind of where I take joy the first time I meet someone because the very first thing that I do is take them in our computer lab and help them with a resume. We're gonna write a resume. Go to the resume writer. And once you give a person a resume, it just seems like their, they, their whole continence just lights up. Uh, it's just something about having that resume that, that, hey, I feel that there's hope again. The food boxes and stuff that we were providing were only one aspect of changing our community. And so this partnership allowed for us to start helping our families um, in, in a more meaningful way. It gave us the ability to just have the resources and the networks to um, help them obtain the work that they needed. It is a challenge to work with a broad range of age groups and different generations. This is the first time in history there's been four generations in the workforce. As we are dealing with um, the workforce and getting people back into the workforce, sometimes we're having to deal with people who um, simply their job skills are 10 to 15 years old and so it's, it's going through that process or they've done particularly heavy in construction jobs and so it's us trying to help them find other skills that they may have so that they can get other work. The Maricopa County Workforce Group has been wonderful in helping us. They provided the training, they gave us a schedule so we can send our staff and volunteers. They've given us supplies to help with the printing and the toner and some flash drives and different things. They've given us flyers and brochures. Every organization of the group has something they can offer no matter how small it is. Just Take one step at a time. You know, you got a computer, you get a volunteer, educate yourself, get yourself the information you need, and just start from there. I said we're doing it on minimal supplies, minimal funding. A, a lot of people and organizations, they feel intimidated or afraid to take that risk. It's great feeling when somebody comes in and tells you that they got a job based on the help they got here. You just know that you've helped a family uh, or helped a person and, and there's nothing better than helping people. There is no checklist of what you need. You know, it's, it's one of those that if you are willing and if you have a computer and you have computer access for them to be able to get to, um, that's all that's necessary. We ourselves have a computer, a person, and a desk, and yet we've been able to see over 300 people since we started. You just have to have a, simply a willing heart willing to, to help out and willing to use the resources that the City of Phoenix or Maricopa County provides for you. This is my way of giving back. If you help one person, you've done some good.